It has historically been a tough place to play, but the Alaska Aces know how to handle this team, and they take on the Colorado Eagles beginning this evening to launch an eight-game, 20-day road trip. Game time a little after 5 o'clock right here on KFQD. Welcome, Mike Benton with you here from Loveland, joining us as well as Aces defenseman Corey Sabret. And Corey, with uh, a ton of roster moves going down as well for this league, of course, uh, the Aces uh, not invincible to it. Uh, Mark Guggenberger is out of the mix, so Olivier Wah as of right now, the only goalie uh, uh, on the road trip here, but for that and a game against Colorado, a team that can really run and gun it, what does this game mean as far as the assignment? Well, I think it's big for us to start off the road trip on the right foot. You know, obviously you want to start off with those first two points, you know. Um, I think Wazi's going to be pretty busy here on this road trip, like you said, with Googs leaving. He's going to see a lot of action, and uh, same with a couple of us uh, D-men with Franch leaving and Marty. Um, it's going to make for a lot of ice back there, and this elevation change and stuff is going to make it tough on the lungs. So you just kind of prepare yourself as best you can today and be ready for tonight. The first thing that you think of when you play the Colorado Eagles and the firepower they usually put out, what is it? I'd probably say Trent Davitil would be one of the guys that comes to mind. I played with him my first year in uh, Kalamazoo, and he's a pretty crafty guy. He plays a little bit like a trupper out there, so he's pretty crafty with the puck, and uh, he can strip you from far away. He plays a lot similar to like a Datsuk. He's an older guy, but he's definitely skillful and creative, and he can put the puck in the back of your net. Not only that, but we're also up in an altitude where you have to kind of catch your breath a, a little bit more. What does that mean as far as the length of shifts and how quick that you have to essentially get off the you just got to manage them well. You know, you don't want to get yourself caught out if you're feeling fresh after 30 seconds and you think you can give it an extra 20. You might be in your, your own end for an extra 30. And, you know, you got to try to keep them short, get off when you can, and, you know, just try to try to save your legs as best you can, get some ice baths and lots of fluids, uh, salts, everything that you sweat out. After a layoff of over about a week, this team now on the road for 20 days for eight games. Plenty of tough buildings here to go into, but what does it mean as far as the ultimate team bond goal? Um, I would say that it's it's going to make us a lot closer. You know, you can't really get away from them too far. As soon as you leave the rink, you're you're having a pregame meal together, and then you're all uh, back in your hotels napping in a, with your roommate. So you can't really get get too far from each other. But I think it'll be good for us. You know, it's you need that at the start of the year before Christmas. A nice three week vacation is going to be uh, pretty ideal for us to get uh, close for the second half of the season. There, plenty of that routine going on definitely beginning tonight. Corey, thank you. Good luck. Thanks, Mike.